So we're chatting with uh, Mr. Tim Rozick. And Mr. Rozick, you are the current superintendent of schools, and you're running for a second term. That's correct. Uh, before we talk about that, let's chat a little bit about the job. Why is this job important? Why should be, people be concerned about who gets into it? I think the superintendency is, of course, the uh, chief uh, negotiator and leader of, of the educational system in Santa Rosa County, and we know how vital that is. Uh, the quality edu education system certainly brings with it um, some, uh, some attributes that are really important. It, it lends to a good community. It lends to a community that people would like to come to and be a part of. It provides an excellent workforce for, uh, for, our, for our businesses and for growth. Uh, it, it really is about a quality of life and uh, leading uh, as a superintendent certainly um, is an important part of, of developing a community and nurturing our county. What made you decide to run again? You know, I'm an educator, first of all, I have 28 years of service in Santa Rosa County. Born and raised right here uh, in, in Santa Rosa County, and I think that's important. This is more than just a job to me. Uh, I have been an educator in Santa Rosa County all my professional life. Uh, giving back to the community is truly important. It, it provides me an opportunity to do so. Making a difference in the lives of kids has always been something that I've grown uh, to like and to love. Uh, being around children and, and understanding uh, them and being able to nurture them is important. And even as superintendent, I get to do that. And so choosing to run for superintendent was a way that I could give back to my community, serve in my profession. I am one of those individuals that's truly blessed to be able to be in a job that uh, is my passion and my life. I, I, I love education, everything about it. It's more than just a job because I affect my children, I affect the community, and and there's a wonderful relationship there. So I, I really enjoy what I do. What kind of challenges, major challenges, do you see that are going to be coming up in the next four years? You know, the past four years have certainly been, been kind of difficult. We've had some major fiscal crisis. Uh, we've had some, some challenges that we've been able to overcome, and we have overcome them. And, and looking backwards uh, to, from then to today, even with a, a $22 million deficit, uh, We've been able to uh, give employees additional salaries, keep people employed uh, at all at all cost, uh, and and now you know we're we're facing some of those same similar situations. The, the fiscal crisis hasn't ended, uh, as moms and dads are well aware of. It's it's still lingering on. So we'll continue to deal with those fiscal challenges over the next three four years as well. And I think it's important to understand where we've been uh, fiscally to be able to give a good solid direction about where we're going and how to deal with those things as well. And secondly, you know, it, we'll deal with tremendous curriculum changes over the next few years. Santa Rosa County celebrated yesterday uh, tr tremendous scores again that puts us at the top of the state. And that doesn't just happen. It, it really happens with strong leadership, strong teaching credentials, and people in the classroom who are amazing amazing at doing what they do. So we'll deal with the transition uh, away from next generation learning standards uh, to new common core, different assessments, a movement away from FCAT, to, from away from just one solid assessment uh, determining the, the future of a child to a multiple uh, series of assessments. And understanding, again, understanding where we've been is vital to understanding where we need to go. So we'll deal with some fiscal challenges, uh, we'll deal with some curriculum challenges, and then we'll constantly deal with what I would consider is the intrusion of state and federal government into our lives and uh, I, I fight every day to push that back and really hope that we can make some uh, some efforts towards uh, limiting the exposure that we have. You know a local government where local decisions are made by local people we do pretty doggone well and I just would hope that we can return to that. Um, if you could tell voters uh, what makes you uniquely qualified for the position? Like, basically why should they vote for you? That's a great question, and I think it's one that we need to make sure that we focus on. First of all, past service. When you look at my service, I'll open up every employment record I have, come and look at what I've done. I've been in Santa Rosa County. I understand the school system. I understand the diverse communities that we have, and they're different. Uh, 
Gulf Breeze is different from Navarre, from Pace, Milton, Central, and Jay. They're all different. Understanding that is vital to be able to leading a, school, a quality school system. Secondly, I'm an educator. It's what I do. It's my profession. It's my passion. And voting for me is a vote of confidence to continue the success we've had over the past four years and, and beyond. Uh, when you measure Santa Rosa County and every available measurement, we're doing very, very well and our students are doing very well. So I want to continue that and, and even excel it as we move on. Well, Mr. Tim Rosick, uh, we thank you so much for talking to us today. Candidate for, for, for Santa Rosa County Superintendent of Schools. All right. Thank, thank you. you very much.